What's going on everybody? Welcome to Married to Film. I'm Ralph and this is Shimada. Hey. Right now we're at season five of Better Call Saul, episode one. This was called Magic Man. And now we're dealing with Saul Goodman, no longer Jimmy McGill. Um Saul Goodman. Right, right, right. Yeah, he he played us, man. He had us believe in his story <laughs> at the end. Uh when he, he believed it too. Yeah, yeah. He believed it too, but he was like, yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He got reinstated. Mike had to kill the German guy, and you still got Lalo out there. I think they killed the rest of them. Yeah, yeah, Lalo. I think so too. Yeah, the the Salamanca guy, the one that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, let's go. It is you. I thought it was you. I wasn't all the way sure, but now that I'm seeing you up close, sure. It's you. I just want to say hi. I'm a big fan. You know, back in the day when I lived in Albuquerque with my ex, uh -oh. I used to see you everywhere. Mm. You're on the billboards, on the TV. I used to have one of your matchbooks. Mm. You got me mixed up with someone. My name is Takovic. Mm. Gene Takovic. I know who you are. You know who you are. Let's just get past that. What's well, not cool? All right. Walk away. <laughs> Don't worry about him. He's cool. <laughs> He just, just wanted to come along. Just saying. Mm -mm. I really don't know what. Come on. And, and do the point. I better call someone. There we go. A little rusty, but <laughs> you'll do better next time. Next time. <laughs> I'll see you. Gene. <laughs> Quality vacuum. How may I help you? Yeah, I need an adapter for a Hoover Max Extract Pressure Pro Model 60. We've delivered to you before, haven't we? Yeah, uh -oh. I'm in Omaha, Nebraska. That will be a very difficult mm. part to obtain. And I want to warn you, it's going to be more expensive than the original. Mm. How expensive? Double the price. It's with a diamond. Tell we are you. still in a cash on delivery situation. Uh, how hot are you? I got made. Pickup is going to be in the same place you were dropped off. Do you remember where that is? Yeah, I do. Same you say you're not going to be back until Thursday. That's what you're telling people. Mm -hmm. you're to go. The rest, am I right? Cancel. Still there? I've changed my mind. Change your mind? Yeah. Wow. I'm going to fix it myself. Right. Jimmy Saul Goodman McGill. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing new going on, huh? Nothing different? Mm. Like what? Like anything. It's nothing, man. A couple of scouts on force been complaining that the stuff has stepped on. Stepped on? Mm -hmm. Okay, so these, these are okay, but these, <coughs> this shit's not ours, man. Mm. Well, she put his initial yeah, on You it. deserve it. Mm -hmm. But at JMM. Yeah. Sorry about that. I didn't know. I got it for Jimmy McGill. Yeah, well, Jimmy loves it. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm using it. If uh, anybody says anything, I'll just say JMM is my motto. Your motto? Yeah. Justice matters most. That's nice. <laughs> There's also this world's second best lawyer again. 
Uh, that's the real mistake. World's second best lawyer because Saul Goodman is going to give you a run for your money. Very well. See? This is why this works. I go too far and you pull me back. No! Too big. Kim, I can't go back to being Jimmy McGill. Jimmy McGill, the lawyer, is always going to be Chuck McGill's loser brother. I'm done with that. That name is burned. <laughs> Sorry. It's... I just can't see it. It's okay. You will. Please sit. There's a serious matter to discuss. Okay, listen, you're joking too much. Mm -hmm. I have a confession to make. A man was working for me on the legitimate side of my business. He was supervising a construction project. A German engineer. I think you know his name. Werner mm -hmm. Ziegler. Through an oversight. Ziegler became aware of our other activities. Uh -oh. The temptation was too great for him to resist, and he stole two keys of product. Uh -oh. I believe you know the rest of the story. Uh -oh. You know of Ziegler's escape, you know that my man tracked him down. When I discovered what Ziegler had done, I replaced the stolen product with methamphetamine I purchased locally. Some of this inferior product went to your organization, and for that, I must apologize. <laughs> what construction project? Oh my god. <laughs> this ain't it. Nope. When finished, this would be the most advanced inline chilling system in the Southwest. A chicken freezer? Chiller. Our product is never frozen. <laughs> He's a Zegler's man. Working from his plans. As far as they're concerned. Their leader has gone home. Oh! They didn't kill him. Oh, wow. Oh, no, no, no! Your man, Michael, is that right? Yes. That's not him, is it? It is. Well, I'd love to say hello if that's permitted. Well, certainly. What a pleasure. I've heard so much about you. That right. Oh, yes. I'm gonna get back. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. That explains everything. I'm glad you are satisfied. Listen to me. There must be no more trouble. You two must coexist. This is non-negotiable. Gustavo, there can be no more secrets. Yes. You know, it's gonna be a very nice chill. South Wall's gonna look beautiful. Uh-oh. Here you go, buddy. Next! What? Welcome, welcome. Take the load off. Say hello to my little friend. See right there? <laughs> Pre-programmed, ready to go. Number one on the speed dial goes directly to me. You press that, and poof! Because I'm not just a cell phone guy. I'm the lawyer. Fight for you. Next, big fella outside. His name's Huel Babin. Go ask Huel about me. He was facing three years. He was facing six years. Eight years down in Guadalupe. He was facing <laughs> 25 <laughs> years. Didn't do a single day. That's why he calls me the magic man. I asked him not to call me that. But That's the name of the episode. <laughs> folks, folks, ladies and gents, boys and girls, uh, due to popular demand, I'm very sorry to say we've given out our last phone. However, I'm still here for legal consultations. Uh, for the next uh, two weeks, um, nonviolent felonies, 50% uh, off. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's for you. 50% off. Yeah, all right, now we got some takers. If you were gonna die, you'd be dead already. Great. Right. Step out of the truck. We got things to do. He's gonna talk. I will never say anything. Ever. It has to be done. You're he was a good much. man, but in truth, he was soft. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> there you go, Mike. Thank you. Because he definitely didn't want to kill him. It was worth 50 of you. So this is it? Huh? No, this is not <laughs> it. Once Salamanca 
is dealt with and he will be dealt with. Okay, come on. Construction will resume. Until then, you will continue to be paid. What happened in Frankfurt? The attorney spent a full day with his wife. She has been compensated. Uh -oh. Compensated. Ooh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I would choose my next words very carefully if I were you. Well, just look at my eyebrow, boy. <laughs> you keep your goddamn retainer. He chose those words very carefully. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. What'd you say your name was? I'm Saul Goodman, and I make it my business to defend the citizens of Albuquerque against injustices of every kind. Wow, you must be really expensive, though. Not at all. I believe every man, woman, oh and child God. deserves speedy justice at a price they can afford. Do you have a card? Not for me, poor friend. Yes, uh, and please tell your friend that uh, I make no judgments and I'm available 24 hours a day. I can't stand it. Can I get one of those, sir? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about me? Yeah. Oh, sure. Five months is really good, Bobby. What's up? He's not taking the deal. Who, that guy? <sighs> Where'd you get him? Five months. Five months? With his priors? Well, he should be on his knees thanking you. I'm trying to talk him out of going to trial. No, seriously. Seriously. <laughs> I'm from the DA's office, okay? I'm giving you what for. You're giving me what for. We'll be loud. We will go over there. We'll make a scene, okay? Uh... New evidence has come to light, and I'm pulling his deal with extreme prejudice. I'm pissed. I want to put him away permanently. I will push back hard. We'll have that punk on his knees begging for the five months. I don't think so. If Kim, come on, Kim. We can do this. Lead pipe sitch. He's the client. It's his decision. But Kim, we can do it. It'll work. I'm not scamming my clients. It'll work for Mesa Verde. Jimmy, back off. Right. Oh, my God. Okay. You see her face? Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Yeah, I'll see you at home. He's from the district attorney's office. They're taking the deal off the table. So what? I mean, we're gonna take it anyway, so. Ms. Wexler, why are they taking it off the table? It's possible they have new evidence. Like, 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 what, like, like, cameras or, or witnesses or? I really couldn't say. We better go tell the judge. We're taking this to trial. Yeah, yeah, you know what, um, <laughs> are you sure we still can't get the five months? I could try. Are you sure that's what you want? Yeah, 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 I, th I thought about it. Just like you said, and I could do the five months. He's dragging her down. Uh-huh. Staircases is her. Mm -hmm. Her venting area. Mm -hmm. That and the partner structure. Mm. Okay, so first things first. Uh, Jimmy got made right. in uh, Nebraska. Uh, some dude walking all up in his personal space. Talking about he know him. And wants him to say it. Say it. Say it. <laughs> Better call Saul. <laughs> With the finger. Right, yeah, with the finger. <laughs> Golly. So then, you know, Jimmy tried to get, uh, you know, relocated again, but he changed his mind, said he's going to uh, handle it his own way. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that part of the story. Get back to the past. Um, and uh, he's going full on. Saul Goodman. Um, Kim... <laughs> doesn't know why she's trying to see the angle of it and it's just not making sense to her and so he's gonna try to um, be the lawyer to all the, uh, the people that he sold the phones to he set up shop at the same place in a circus tent and just <laughs> doing the 50% off deal that he didn't want to do to, to get more clients um, when the phones ran out he didn't say he didn't want to do it I thought he said he didn't want to do, do the, 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 it. It sounded cheap or something like that. It was something his idea. Like she said no. Oh, okay. No, he was like, well, yeah, you're right. He was like, no, whatever, whatever. It made me sound cheap or whatever. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he was still thinking about doing deals. Just the simple fact that he's still selling those phones is stupid. Mm -hmm. You are now reinstated. You are now a lawyer of New Mexico. You shouldn't be acting like that. But 
He's he's it's all good, he's man. Off the, he's off the deep end now. He's all, he's full on. He even signed his uh, reinstatement paper, mm -hmm. Jimmy. Saul Goodman. Quotes. McGill. <laughs> Saul Goodman. McGill. There you go, honey. Right. I can't. Right. Um, he doesn't want to be McGill anymore. He said that name is burnt. Mm -hmm. Why? Because your brother burnt in his house? Mm. That was unnecessary. Yeah. He said he would always be known as Chuck's little brother. Yeah. Um... No good brother or something like that. I forgot what mm -hmm. you said. Tell me that. Nacho and Lalo. Lalo's aggravating, but <laughs> um, he had a sit down with uh, Gus and uh, the other half of the Chicken Brothers. I can't, I can't even remember this dude's name. Chicken Brothers. <laughs> but uh, Gus came up with a story to the. Oh yeah, because Lalo and Nacho found out that the product that they had was inferior. Half was good and half was inferior. So they had to sit down and Gus came up with the story to bring in the German guy and the the construction that they were doing and on the south wall because that's... Basically what, he was cleaning up loose mm, ends. Yep. There you go. Because he already knew that he was following him and mm -hmm. he didn't know what Mike said. Hey, there's a guy that's telling mm -hmm. me, do you know who he is? After he grabbed the phone from... Uh, Ziegler. Ziegler. But he was like, do you know? Who he is? He was just talking to him on the phone like it was one of your guys. Do you know who he is? He said, yeah, I got an idea. That, mm, anyway. Yeah. That whole situation was right. crazy. And then he sent the rest of the, the, the guys home on different flights from different cities. Um, had uh, somebody go to Germany and cause, uh, let Mrs. Ziegler's wife do what happened to a construction accident. And she was compensated and that pissed Mike off. He told him that he would have a lawyer or someone would actually... Mike told Werner that someone would come to tell him, to tell his wife what happened and explain. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. He said it, it happened the way you wanted it to happen. Mm -hmm. But when he said, and she was compensated, well compensated or whatever, his face just changed. Mm -hmm. His face changed when... uh. What's the dude that was giving him a hard time? Kai. Kai. No, yeah, Kai. When he walked up to him, he was like, "Yeah, I ain't gonna, talk. I ain't gonna say nothing." He said it had to be done. Yeah, what? He was soft, yeah. Pow! Right in the kisser. <laughs> Big tall guy walked up to him and said he was worth fifty of you. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he was like, he knew it, and that hurt. Mm -hmm. The way he he took a, a breather, he closed his eyes for a couple of seconds and was like, he did not want to kill that man. Mm -hmm. Not at all. He didn't want to drop him off to be killed. Mm -hmm. He figured if he, if anybody was to kill him, he would do it himself. But he did not want to kill that man. Because mm -hmm. he was a good man. He had yeah. a good heart. All he wanted to do was be home with his wife. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. Um, I think that covers everything. He was still trying to figure out uh, uh, Lalo. Lalo. What's his name? Lalo. Lalo. Lilo was still trying to feel, but say uh, Lilo and Stitch, but Lilo he was still trying to figure out the South Wall because mm. he was like, oh, Werner Ziegler, 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 Ziegler. <laughs> he kept saying that over and over mm. again while he was sitting in the um in the spot where they would collect the money for uh, Santa Mago. So I, uh, Santa I, just, Mago. I just jacked that one up. Anyway, <laughs> I'm over it. I'm done. All right. We'll see y'all next time. Love y'all. Yeah, love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>